We back with another one. What's good? It's your boy Black Finesse. Here with another video. We're here to watch your boy ADP, A Different Perspective. Uh, I haven't watched this man for a week because I was doing different content. Uh, not a week. For weeks because I was doing different content. Uh, that content took like two months to do. So like I said, for those of you who are new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Excuse me. Um, this one's called Texture Sheet. I'm trying to scam your baby daddy to backfires. Um, okay. As y'all can see, we got a new Texture Sheet out as promised. We're knocking them out this week. Our girl celebrity, queen of accountability, posted this on her page. And from the looks of the description, looks as though some woman tried to scam her baby daddy out of $400. But if the text receipt made it to my page, then more than likely, he didn't fall for it. But let's let's watch. Let's see how this unfolded. Before we get into it, I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by none other than my favorite men's face care brand, Tease Handler. I felt it's your money, bro. I always want to admit this, but have it act me on our... Yeah, get your money, dog. Pay them bills. Sit. Back to your video. All right, y'all. We back. And it starts with the woman. She's like, I need $400 ASAP. The man responds back, um. Who you talking to? Who you talking to exactly? <laughs> the woman responds, you. It's a heat wave here. Your child is in the 80 degree house. I need to get the fan replaced. That's how much he charging me. Okay, hold on, hold on. First of all, first of all, first of all, it's a heat wave here. Your child is in an 80 degree house. I need to get the fan replaced. Shorty, you said I, which means it's probably not his house. Just, just, just off of the screenshot alone, it don't look like it's his house. So, I mean, it's it's also your responsibility too. So, how are you gonna come up to four hundred dollars? Who's he? What you mean that, that's how much he's charging me? Like, the maintenance guy? Picture down here proving that the temperature is indeed at 80 degrees, but it does it look does like she cool. has the AC on, but unfortunately the temperature won't go down below 80. I know how that could be. I know some folks watching, they'd be like, heck, I have my place set to 80. It all depends on the size of your place. If her place is at 80 and it's hot like that, she might be in an apartment like me. I, I I have my junk on like 68. I live on the top floor, so it get real real hot up here. So you know I gotta I gotta have it low I mean, yeah, that's in fair. order to feel comfortable. It's understandable. I go to somebody else's house, they got a 74, 75, whatever, and I'm and I'm Gucci 78, whatever. But anyway, back to the right. That's house not. I just looked at the, I just looked at the rest of the messages. That's not even his house. Look look on the second second blue one. No, I'll come pick my son up and he can stay with me in a 70 degree house until you get your ducks. In a row, yo. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> what? No, you're not getting no four hundred dollars out of me. I know you playing right now. You just got your hair done Saturday. Them braids. I know you paid a couple of hundred dollars. You also got your nail done. How you broke? Prioritizing. Mm-hmm. Because that four hundred dollars that she needed to get this fan fixed, which she probably knew about before she got the nails and her hair done. Mm -hmm. That's probably how much she spent on like her nails 700, and hair. 600, 700 if not more than that. The woman responds, this involves your child. See, now she over here gaslight. This involves your child. He is sweating. Just cash at me the money. Damn. Whoa. Entitled. Who she thinks she talking to? the nerve of anybody to be asking mm -mm. anyone of money no. and then go swear at them like this. Just just send me the money. Damn, mm -mm. no. Mm -mm. Who GG's. do you think you are? Right. It's my money, not yours. Exactly. Just because we got a child together don't mean you get to dictate and control what I do with my money. Exactly. No. Come on, yo. Wildin'. Sure Wildin'. Man. She wrong. <laughs> the guy responds back, no, I'll come pick up my son and he can stay with me in a 70 degree house until you get your ducks in the row, yo. <laughs> I know that's right. That makes all the sense in the world. If this if this is my child and we try to make sure that my child is comfortable. I'm sorry, I just, I saw the other messages. I'm reading faster than he is. I ain't gonna lie, he is, he is commenting. But, Shorty said, you not getting my child. But that's both of y'all child. Yo, I hate, I can't stand this, bro. It's like you pick and choose when it when it's your child when it has to do with money. Like, come on, bro. Make it make sense, bro. All right, then. Come on. He can come on with me. We're, we got the Trippin'. AC working over here. 
What I'm gonna pay four hundred dollars for when my son could just come over here and be comfortable? That makes no sense at all. Right. Then the woman responds back, "You're not getting my child." The guy responds, now it's your child. It was my child when you wanted that money. You clearly are not handling business. <laughs> I'm on my way. I can keep him with me while you figure it out. Exactly. Makes all the sense in the world. But what does a bitter baby mama do? Not make any sense. That's what they do. She says, your time is weekends. You not getting him. I'll just drop him off at my BYF spot, whatever that is, until I get the money then. Boyfriend's house? You're being spiteful. A BYF. You can't even... Is that her boyfriend? The guy responds back, yo, boyfriend? <laughs> I know you tripping now. I'm on my way. <laughs> yeah, what kind of mess is that? Is she that spiteful? Does she hate and dislike this man that much that she is perfectly okay with... <sighs> Sending her child and his Stop child. Stop using the kid as a weapon, bro. Don't weaponize your kids, bro. This is what I mean by be careful who y'all have, who y'all go, go to bed with, bro. Like that's spiteful. You mad because the, the dude won't give you money, and you got you, you got to own, you got a nigga, you got a dude. You have a whole dude, bro. Ask that man for money. You gonna you gonna ask the baby daddy for money, but. This is your house. Y'all all live in separate buildings. So it's really your responsibility. It ain't like he paying half the bills. Get with a with a boyfriend that's not broke then. Like, come on, bro. Like, you are weird. And then and then he's making you handle it with your own responsibility since you wanted your own house. Y'all chose not to live together. So why is it his responsibility to pay for her AC? It's not his house. To go be with her boyfriend just because she don't want the child to be with his father if i was the boyfriend i'd be like no what come on bro what sense does this make no 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 take this child over there to him that make that make more sense take the child over there i don't want to keep him right <laughs> the boyfriend could easily just leave if he wanted to because you want to be mean and hateful just being spiteful bro no 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 I'm trying to be petty the woman responds back, I said, no, we leaving out. See you Friday. Goodbye. The man responds, I'm on my way. The woman responds, we won't be there. I just told you. The man responds, I'm still coming. The woman responds back, I'll call the police. I said, leave us alone. And the man is making all the sense in the world, and the woman knows that she can't combat it. They begin to want to take extreme measures. And this I'm happens petty, too bro. often where... The cops are called because the woman wants to take extreme measures because she lost the battle. She lost the argument. She lost the fight. She didn't get her way. Some of these women don't think when they're emotional, bro. So now she wants to take these measures. Rather, they don't think. Common sense. While you handle your business, bring the child over with their father. Simple. Don't bring it over to their boyfriend after the dude said no to, to fixing your AC and y'all not even together. So you honestly not his responsibility. The kid is. So if he if you would have asked to come pick up the kid and he and he and he said no, then that's a problem. But you asked to pay for something that's your responsibility on. Like, come on, bro. Calling the cops, calling whatever people that she know of and lying to them about what's going on within their relationship, whatever it may be. If they can't win, they'll find other measures to get their way. But anyway, y'all, leave your thoughts, comments, and opinions down below. <laughs> this is my thoughts, comments, opinions. Shorty tripping. Shorty tripping. And, I, and I'm typically not the the overly biased type because, you know, all this gender war stuff. But shorty tripping. She just being spiteful. She don't deserve any kind of money coming her way. She don't even need to be in her own apartment. She's going to act like that. Like, seems like all she care about is sleeping with people and getting pregnant. I said what I said, bro. She weird, dude. Uh, comment, like, subscribe down below. Support Black Fitness. We out.